Right now we're in Wisconsin at the Cheese House, Mouse House. We got some cheese, a little pit stop. Forgot to take the camera in there because I went to the gas station across the street to try and find some souvenirs, but they didn't have any. But the Cheese House did, so that's good. And then now we're off. So we're taking a pit stop in Wisconsin somewhere at the Car Valley Cheese. Apparently it's award-winning cheese and they have some fresh curds, so we're gonna check this place out. Uh, you can spot off the freeway because it has cow spots all over it. We're still about seven hours away from our destination in South Dakota. So we still have a long drive ahead of us, but we're going to get some lunch before we head out again. Dad, this is really good. Did you try this? What's that one? Erico. Erico. Here. Let's see here. <laughs> Honey. Cinnamon. Uh, I'm gonna try it. What are you trying? Is it good? <laughs> what is it? Tasty onion. about to reach the border for Minnesota and right now we are at the top of the Mississippi River in Wisconsin. You can see the river right over here. The dam is over there. Uh, the currents of the river are pretty strong but we're going to try and see if we can touch the water to say that we touched the Mississippi River just like how we did for Lake Michigan in Chicago. Getting a little bit hot and there's a lot of bugs flying all around me. We have about seven, I think, or six or seven hours left until we reach our destination in South Dakota. Still a long trip ahead of us. There's everyone by the water. Watch like an alligator come out of nowhere. Wisconsin welcomes you. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Minnesota welcomes you. It is five in the afternoon. We're about four or five hours from our destination. Taking a pit stop. It's 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees. It's pretty hot, but it's not humid though. So far on this trek of the trip, there's been nothing but construction and farmlands and lots of dead bugs on the windshield. Right now, we are in Mitchell, South Dakota, where there is a corn palace. So there's the world's only corn palace in Mitchell, South Dakota. Well, hello there. It looks like their street is closed for some sort of fair going on right now. There's live music happening right now. We're walking down the street. That's closed. 
There it is. What? There's a change. No, it didn't. It's 9.04. It's 9.04 on mine. It's the end of day 11 on our trip back home to Seattle. And we are at a campground close to Myrtle, South Dakota. It's a while from Mount Rushmore. It's a campground. Um, instead of a hotel, we're here tonight. And instead of me inside the tent with everyone, I opted to be in the car just so I'm by myself and there's more room for me in here so that's good about it. There are still some bugs that is in the car because when we were trying to get everything out of the car lots of bugs were coming in and I had to I had to get rid of so many mosquitoes before settling into the car and there was a giant June bug, I think it's a June bug, that was inside the car and I had to let it out and not kill it because it would have made a nasty crunching sound and I would not have liked that. And I would not have fallen asleep inside here if it was still lingering here. Drive was same old like how it's been in the first trek. Construction, farmland, and the weather's been good. So far, it hasn't been raining throughout the whole trip, for today at least. The weather was pretty nice, took some pit stops here and there, and we're finally one hour time difference between homes, so that's a good thing. It just means we're so much closer to being home, which I'm excited for. It's not that I don't like this trip, but I'm just excited to be back home. Today's recap is mostly just driving. There were some tourist destinations that we stopped by here and there. And we went in, got some cheese. Places that had cheese had some really good samples. Like they had everything all cut up already. So that was nice. Yeah, just a lot of driving, napping, car karaoke, just watching the road go by. It was a 12 hour drive, the longest driving day that we had so far. At about 700 miles in from our origin point in Illinois. Mount Rushmore tomorrow and then Wyoming might stop there. I don't remember the exact plan or maybe Montana. I'm going to kill some more mosquitoes before I call it a night. So we'll see you guys on day 12. <laughs>